Welcome to the Space Station Alpha Guitar Technique and Music Exploration Lab. Today I'm going to be playing through one octave parallel modes, um, and uh, they'll all be starting in fifth position on C on fifth fret of the G string. Uh, after I play through all the modes, I'm going to show you how I do a couple of them, um, hammer-ons on the way up and pull-offs on the way down. Uh, I believe it's a very good warm-up exercise, um, specifically because you get every string set that you get in any scalar configuration. So 1, 3, and 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, an extended 1, 2, 4. Um, so I, I think it's a really good warm-up exercise and um, a good technique drill uh, as well with the pull-offs and the hammer-ons. But I've also discovered something very interesting. So um, if you start on one note and change the modes, uh, the relative uh, key that the mode is referring to uh, uh, there's a pattern there that, that I find very interesting, so um, I'll talk about that uh, in, the, in the last segment uh, after I show you the mode exercise. Okay, I'm going to play through all of the modes now. Um, I'm going to start them all on C on the 5th fret of the G string. So the first one is uh, Ionian, better known as Major. Two, four, one, three, four. The second one is Dorian. One, three, four, two, four, one, two, four. The third one is Phrygian. Uh, some people say this is a flamenco mode. One two four, two four extended, one two four. So normal one two four would have a half step between one and two here on adjacent frets. Extended one two four has a whole step here, one fret in between one and two. All right, the fourth mode is Lydian. And uh, that's one of the uh, most symmetrical. You'll see the, actually the two and three chord are actually uh, embedded um, in the shape of the scale itself. One, three, one, three, four, twice. And then kind of with an inversion of that shape on the uh, second and first string is uh, the next one, the fifth mode mixolydian. So we got one, three, one, two, four, twice. And the sixth mode is Aeolian, better known as natural minor. So we've got one, three, four, two, four, extended one, two, four. And the last mode is Locrian. One, two, four, two, three, extended one, two, four. So now I'm going to do a couple of these um, with hammer-ons on the way up and pull-offs uh, on the way down. So here's uh, Dorian. And uh, on the way down, I like to have all of the fingers involved uh, in the pull-offs set up ahead of time. That's a good, good habit to get in if you have the chance to do so, to have all the fingers prepared so you don't have to go hunting for anything. Uh, by the way, on the way up and on the way down, I've only got one pluck. So this is the only pluck for Dorian on the third string. And I hammer on three and four. I pluck two on the second string. Hammer on four. I pluck one on the first string. And hammer on uh, the two and four there. So that's Dorian. Let's do another one um, with an extension there. This is a little bit tougher. Uh, but it's good to go through all of these. Uh, really good warm-up. You end up getting every string set that you'll use. I like to call them string sets. I think I heard that somewhere. Um, you get one, three, two, four, two, three, one, two, four, one, three, four. You know, basically anything that you're going to come across uh, in any uh, diatonic scale that you'll play before you either shift strings or shift positions. You often play two or three notes in a position before you move to the next string or move to a new position. Uh, if you're up high on an electric guitar, you know, the position 
uh, the frets get small enough to where you might do something like like that, where you play four notes on one string before you go on to another string. But generally, a lot of the neck of the guitar, you're, end up, you're going to end up doing uh, one of these string sets before you shift strings in the same position or shift to a new position. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do uh, natural minor uh, with a slur. So here's natural minor, and these are all starting on C once again. So there's hammer-ons on the way up. Always important to use the very tip of the finger, just like you always should, and aim it right for the fret, because uh, if you don't do that, you might kill the string. Uh, you can al also bend it out of tune always uh, if you land off of the fret, but it's uh, very advantageous to get your tip of your finger right next to the fret. Um, always important, but especially important with slurs uh, to, to be set up next to the fret. So here's a Aeolian natural minor on the way back down here, setting up all the fingers ahead of time. So there's the uh, parallel uh, one octave modes starting on the third string uh, with hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, and now uh, I'm going to cut to a new angle and uh, talk about uh, the connection um, that I found between uh, the, the relative keys of these starting points and uh, what, uh, what the resulting mode is. There's a lot of beautiful patterns that emerge uh, in music when you study the intricacies uh, of what's going on uh, under the surface. And one of the things that I discovered is that the, the ordinal number of the mode starting from major and going up to Locrian, um, Ionian to Locrian, is that if you take the ordinal number of the mode and you turn it into a major interval and you go down, you find the, the relative key. Um, so for instance, if I uh, start on the second mode, uh, I play Dorian starting on C, and I go down um, the major second, because it's the second mode, I take the ordinal number of the second mode and I turn it into a major second, those are the notes of B flat. Um, um, the third ordinal number, the third Phrygian, uh, and I go down a major third, those are the no notes of A flat, um, the note I find when I do that. Uh, the exception to this is the fourth and fifth, those are perfect intervals, so you go down um, perfect for the fourth and fifth, uh, and and you get F um, for the fourth and fifth, the sixth, uh, then in this case, uh, is E flat, and then you get D flat. Uh, so this is all just starting on C. If you uh, do all the parallel modes starting on C, uh, and you go find the relative uh, key that shares all of those notes in that key. Uh, and when you do that, um, you end up getting... scale, um, which is also um, a, a half step away uh, anyway from the starting point that we started all the modes on. So if you do all of the parallel modes starting on one point, um, if you go up a half step and play Lydian, um, that's the relatives uh, of all of those no uh, uh, modes that you played. Uh, so. I thought that was very interesting. The, take the ordinal number of the mode and turn it into a major interval, except for fourth and, and, and modes, you turn it into a perfect interval. Down, and then you get the, uh, the tonic that, that shares the tones from that key. And somewhere in there is the, the secret the coders put in this simulation.